For months now, Tom Lawler's been saying that there is no one that would want to face him in this tournament in his AIW debut. Well, one guy that's not shy about facing anyone in tournaments is Dan the Beast Severn. Well, I, I think it's happened in the fence that Matt Rodgers, because I believe I did call Tom Lawler out right off the rip. The moment he was announced, I knew that that was the match I wanted. But uh, what an interesting development here with Jimmy Rabe not here and Dan the Beast Severn showing up. Well, if there's one thing you can count on AIW, it's we make the best of bad situations. Dan the Beast Severn, of course, made his AIW debut last year. And Dan Severn, I will point out, undefeated in singles competition here in AIW. That is true. Uh, wins over Carl Delaney, tag team champion in, in Kingston. So uh, no walk over here for Tom Waller to start. Well, Tom Waller obviously has a quite a pedigree, a UFC veteran like himself and as you know and as many have shown here in AIW that crossover from MMA has been very successful in absolute intense wrestling of course our current women's champion Shayna Baszler yourself Dan Severn so many have succeeded yeah, no, no doubt Matt and uh, the moment I saw Tom Lawler announced I knew that it was probably going to be another successful you know uh, crossover here for AIW and management bringing him in for this tournament but Tom Lawler you want to talk about accolades, his opponent has done it all, seen it all. He's been inducted in all the Hall of Fames while he's at it. Oh yeah, no doubt. Dan Severn, UFC Hall of Famer, UFC Tournament winner, UFC Super Fight Champion. There's not much that Dan Severn hasn't done in the mixed martial arts world. And on top of that, in the pro wrestling world, former World Wrestling Federation superstar, as well former NWA Heavyweight Champion. Oh, what a throw there. there. And, and as he showed us last year, he has not lost a step at launching you once he gets you in his oh. grasp. A lot of drop watchers throwing Tom Waller all the way across the ring. There aren't many guys who are going to do that to Tom Lawler. No, and if you think about it, Lawler used to fighting guys his weight at about 185 pounds. You got uh, Danny P. Seven in there, built tonight by Steve Guy at 250. So this is a little something different here for Tom Lawler tonight. Tom Lawler offering to share his water with someone at ringside. I will say that in a different world, these two can make a whole lot of money in Mexico as Beast and Beastacito. Oh, no doubt. But tonight, that's not the case, and the uh, winner of this will advance to wrestle me, and the winner of Eddie Kingston and Tracy Williams, and the winner of Mike Tolar and Britt Lee. Indeed. No easy task, and of course we saw Dan Severn in that situation last year. He advanced to the semifinals. 
was not involved in the final decision of that matchup. Nope, so he's still undefeated. Oh! Go to French, suplex there by Severn. Just tossing around the smaller Lawler here, man. He has shown he has no problem doing that, dragging Lawler back out to the center of the ring. And there is no way Tom Lawler expected to come in here this weekend to just get manhandled. Tom Lawler going what many people would think the smarter route. Tom, uh, mistake here though. Uh, that's not the proper way to pull that open guard. If Tom wants to do that, not as much. Oh! Severn diving point. over the attempt into a pinfall. Gets a two count. Passes the guard right into the pinfall. I have to say that's not one he that Tom Waller's had to worry about in the past. Not the uh, the traditional way of passing guard. Oh! Just depositing him with that spine buster. Dan Severn now. Dropping down, perhaps looking for that heel hook. Looks like an Achilles lock from my angle here, Matt. Looking to go. If Tom's got good defense, though, and gets the ball on the other side, he can get out of this and not have to necessarily worry about it. As well, Severn's going to watch out for Lawler to maybe use his feet. Oh, and Lawler grabs his own ankle lock here. As they're doing uh, battling Achilles locks here. Well, Dan Severn definitely has the strength advantage, and you would argue a grappling advantage. The man in Arizona State University Wrestling Hall of Famer. Well, maybe, maybe the grappling advantage in terms of a pure technical like mat wrestling, but Lawler being a black belt himself out at Syndicate MMA in Vegas, I, I might give the jiu-jitsu advantage to Tom on this one. As we've seen in past UFCs, Dan susceptible to chokes. Uh, and Law the problem is Lawler's got to get in a position to choke him first. And uh, throwing that strike is not the way to get into that choke. Exchanging chops with Dan Severn. Oh. Go on. Severn, after after a lot of attempts on that leg lock, lets it go to try to inflict more damage here on Lawler, Matt. Oh. Severn charging in. Close line, looks, looking for another throw. Oh, oh, but the two pummeling now. In the corner, looking to keep the other one pinned against the turnbuckle. I'll give Tom Lawler credit. Not many are able to reposition Dan Severn like that. Severn attempting to keep him grounded in the corner. Wait. Wait. His Lawler's corner man looking to trip Dan Severn, and he tripped the wrong Dan Severn. I mean, there is a very striking resemblance. Attempted to use that game. He caught his own man. Lawler just trying to re regroup himself now. Man. I, you know, obviously a much different opponent than what Tom was expecting. Out of Jimmy Rave comes out here and he's got Dan to be Severn. Well, and it's one thing to match up with Dan Severn one on one, but it's a whole nother animal to try to do it with zero notice. Oh, rolls through, looking now for D bar. Goes D bar. Secure the hips. Let's see here, Dan trying to get out. Severn trying to close the distance a little bit. Seven right by the ropes. Oh, one, two, time, time. Three, four. Lawler looking to utilize that full count before breaking it. That's one thing he's picked up very early on in his transition to professional wrestling. Forearm strike, Severn throws one right back. Seriously, who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Tell me now. Oh, wait, the shirt coming off from Lawler. I think he's done with the. One more time. The shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Severin says his shirt can come off too, and his tights can come up. Whoa! And Dan Severin just doesn't move. Firing back there is Severin. Oh man, Tom Waller bringing the luck to those chops, man. Severin coming right back. 
And now an overhand chop that time out of Lawler. That might have been a bad mistake there by Lawler. <laughs> now, just pummeling those chops in. Just driving across. Oh, was that a heart punch, Matt? No, he went a little bit lower, went solar plexus with it, went to the midsection. They're blocking the overhand right. Severn with those knees in the corner, looking to be setting up for another throw, perhaps. Oh, Lawler tried to pummel for position, just finds himself tossed. Severn whipping Lawler back across, charging in with the clothesline. Now, Lawler looking, just leaning. On Leaning on Tom Dunn for support, and oh, that time he got the right sever. The trip, the trip out of the corner, man. Lawler. I don't know, that clearly his foot on the rope there. But his corner man pushing it away before Tom Dunn saw it. 